so today's video is going to be this makeup trial uh, <coughs> this look is inspired by the flag of Japan and this look, this video is uh, my way to pay homage to Japan this is a kind of tribute I guess a way to show that even during my makeup, even during my everyday life I am thinking of Japan even more than the ordinary um, uh, because of what happened and uh, to show that no matter what I am with them, I am with Japanese people and I am praying, hoping for this country. And this is also a way for me to remind you once again that if you can donate even just a little it would be really useful and it would really help Japan. Um, please imagine if your country was devastated like that. Imagine if so many of your um, of the people you live with uh, were in the cold without any food or any house and I've lost, I've lost their relatives, their friends or whatever. Think about the, the animals also which are um, in the same situation of despair and um, in the same pain than humans in Japan. Um, Think of the amazing culture, the amazing people that the Japanese are, and please, if you can donate, just do a little help. That would be really, really great of you. And also, don't forget to pray, to send all your love, all your good vibes, uh, and your support to Japanese people, um, even if they are far away from you. It reaches them somehow to know that in the world there are people who think of them. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the remind um, parts of this video. Um, this look is very easy to do. Yes, it's very dramatic but you can switch up the red lipstick and as you can see it's pretty easy to wear if you don't wear the red lips with that. But you know my love for dramatic makeup and my love for um, I would say the red <laughs> in general. I love red. Um, so yeah, that's why I did the lip and the eyes. Um, in the camera it might seem that this is not the same exact color it's not really but it looks like more coordinate and more it gets along better in real life than it does on camera so yeah and that's pretty much it guys um, if you wanna subscribe I would thank you a lot and if you wanna post a video response to this video to show your support to Japan by redoing this makeup feel free to do that and yeah, that's pretty much it. So don't forget to let me know what you think of that. And if you have any requests, let me know. I'm not really inspired by makeup lately. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you're all doing very good, guys. I hope you are safe. And if you are, remember that you are lucky. And remember that some are not as lucky as you. And if you can donate, donate. Uh, so I talk to you very soon, guys. Bye. So I will start off with a playing a base. And I'm going to select a Y and a red one, so the black is going inside of the lid and the red is going at the outer corner next I'm taking a brush like this one to blend the red Next I'm taking my next eye eyeshadow and a brush, a random brush, whatever you have under your hand, for me it's going to be this one. And I'm going to apply my white eyeshadow on my white bed. You really should pat it on very carefully so that the color you get is really really white. And next I'm taking a oh, I'm taking a red eyeshadow here, and I'm applying it on my on my red base, obviously. And once again, I'm going to use this brush to blend the curves. And I'm going to take my white eyeshadow again with the same brush 
and I'm going just to apply it as an eye light. And next I'm going to take this small blending brush right here with some white eyeshadow and I'm going to blend the red and the white very carefully. And if you think the red is not vibrant enough, you just have to come back uh, very carefully with a little bit of red. And so under the eye, I'm going to um, go with this brush and the same red eyeshadow and I'm going to go halfway. Um, next, I'm taking my eyeliner and I'm going to apply a thin line. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this next black bean eye pencil and I'm going to take my angled brush like this, select a little bit of the black and apply it here. Like that. And you also want to apply it just halfway on your waterline. Roll it just like that. I don't know if you can see, but it really makes your eyes kind of Asian looking somehow. Yes, um, next I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. And yeah, so I obviously added false eyelashes, you know, I never go out without false eyelashes. Well, I almost never go out without false eyelashes. Don't worry, the glue is going to dry clear and you're going to apply a thin line of eyeliner over it anyway. So next I'm going to take my white jumbo eye pencil and I'm going to apply very carefully white on my waterline. Like that. So next I'm going to contour my cheeks. And next, I'm going to take um, a mixture between this blush and this one. And since it's very like red now, <coughs> I'm going to take this brush, some white powder, and blend the whole thing. like that and for my lips uh, for the lips you can leave it like that um, you don't really need to overdo it um, it could be perfectly okay with some um, some nude lips but I will try the red lipstick anyway so
So you can wear the red lipstick or you can just leave it without the red lipstick.